All right, today uh, we're going to be focusing on full face helmets, and then we're going to get into the after action reviews and everything like that. But first and foremost, these are the five things we're going to be covering, understanding the benefits of full face helmets. And while I still have these out here because I was doing some show and tell, this is a full face helmet. It's going to cover your chin, it's going to cover the rest of your head and your skull. Okay, so evaluating the superior impact resistance. Okay, that's a big thing. We're going to be looking at um, how it does protect you from road debris. Right there, it's a little tip right there. Learning about insulation and noise reduction features, and that's a big thing, so you want to protect your hearing. Once you start losing that, you don't get it back. So make sure you wear earplugs at the same time. So and we're going to appreciate the visibility and the safety that it does offer. So here we go. Full coverage, okay? So the helmet does not leave any of your head exposed. So if we take a look at this right here, okay? So we take a look. So right now it's gonna be protecting the back of our head, it's gonna be protecting our chin right here, it's gonna be protecting the, the side of our face, our eyeballs, the top of our head. Very, very important. The difference between that and a three-quarter helmet, which is this right here, this is my first helmets, if you notice underneath. In fact, let's just go ahead and take this off. This is what a, a three-quarter helmet does. It's only gonna protect the back of your head, top and side to sides, it's not gonna protect your face. And that's gonna be a big part of motorcycle safety because most of the impacts that happen are gonna be on your face and once you damage your face, you're gonna ruin your airway, which is gonna make rescuing you a lot harder, okay? So face and chin protection, very important uh, protection just for those reasons. And then we're gonna talk a little bit more about getting that road debris into your face, getting a rock chipped up, getting some bugs into your eyes, getting bugs in your mouth, you know, a bee in your face, not very fun. It's also pretty comfortable. That's one of those things that uh, with the three quarter helmet, you need to really have like a, a visor because you know the wind is gonna be kicking in your face and you get chapped lips, your eyes are gonna get dry. Highly recommend putting chapstick on when you're going out riding. But it's more comfortable with a full face helmet. You have all that padding on your cheeks, padding all over your head, very important. And part of it is you wanna make sure that you actually get the right sized helmet. You want to, if you have an intermediate oval helmet or a head like I do, which is typical for Americans, uh, you wanna get an intermediate oval helmet. Uh, you, there's also round oval and long oval. And we talk more about that in the basic Smart Rider course, uh, unit two. So experience the uh, superior impact resistance. There you go, okay. So there's DOT, ECE, there's a bunch of different types of uh, standards when it comes to impact protection, but the main thing here is I want you to think about just grabbing ECE, that's the European uh, standard, okay? So just think about that, call it a day, buy a helmet that's ECE. So you're gonna have the outer shell. So this is gonna be this, this white part of the helmet. It's gonna be a nice hard shell. Think of it as like an M&M, the hard candy shell. Okay, for some reason I was thinking of Tommy Boy when I said that. So anyways, right here, uh, right in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Hard outer shell, it's gonna be kind of like a thick paint. It's gonna be, uh, and then underneath it, it's gonna be like that hard, hard, uh, it, it all depends. I think uh, some companies use carbon fiber, some people use uh, different stuff. But anyways, probably carbon fiber underneath. But then you have the shock absorbing liner on the inside. So you can't really see on side here, but it's gonna be polystyrene foam. There's gonna be some padded liners in there. And the polystyrene foam, think of it as a, as a more dense version of a styrofoam um, cooler that you can get like a Circle K or something like that. But it's a lot more dense, a lot more uh, impact uh, absorbing. And that's the part that you don't want cracked. So you can kind of chip away at the outside if you drop your helmet and it has like a chip on the paint, not a big deal. If you have a big gouge on the paint and you can see the, the foam underneath, you need to get a new helmet. Um, after a crash or after you drop the helmet or you fall down and hit your head, uh, you want to check the, the foam on the inside. So these right here, uh, the head stability. So you're gonna wanna wear a full face helmet that actually fits you. Cause when you do hit the ground, you're gonna be tumbling around and you'll be bouncing around. That's why a lot of people say don't have GoPros, don't have Bluetooth systems. But nowadays GoPros, uh, especially with a good chin mount, they will just break right off. Same thing with the Bluetooth system, it'll just kind of break right off. Um, or it'll just stay because they're making them more low profile so that way you can still call 911. But make sure that they actually fit you, okay? So there's a whole fitment guide that uh, I'm developing here at the Basic Smart Rider course. But you know, if you go to RevZilla, they have a fitment guide so you can actually work on that and figure out what actually fits you. Make sure you don't have pressure on the front of the crown. Anyways, we'll go more into that into the Basic Smart Rider. This is just more of an awareness type course right now. So uh, debris and bugs, that's a big one. Okay, that's a big one. I've seen some people with quarter helmets, half helmets. Write in the comments if you've seen it, where this, the, there's this one guy that had like this big rock chip. 
just go right into his cheek and he had to get that removed and get a bunch of stitches. Um, it would have been protected from the face shield and the full face helmet because they do test the face shields to protect you just like they have the, I think it's ANSI uh, certification in the United States when it comes to sunglasses. They have the same kind of protection, if not more, on these motorcycle uh, visors, the face shields. Okay, so make sure you guys wear uh, a full face helmet with a face shield down. And if you don't, you do take that risk, but you're still gonna have some protection from that chin bar. At least wear eye protection. At least wear sunglasses underneath, okay? Insect protection. I've had a few times where I've had a bee get flown right into my face because I had the visor up or I was wearing the three-quarter helmet. No fun. Sometimes they even get up underneath, which is very rare, but it can happen. I don't like it. Getting a bug right in the eye when you're trying to ride, it's not going to be fun, especially it's going to cause you to mess up and you can't see. Now you're going to have to pull over on the side of the road and have some issues. So dust and debris, same thing. You get a nice little uh, dirt devil, if you know what that is, right in the comments, but a little dirt devil coming um, through and it just blasts you with, uh, with dirt. Not fun at all. It's going to get all over your face, get in your eyes. Can't see anything with a full face helmet. It's going to hopefully minimize uh, a lot of that. Um, make sure you guys grab a full face helmet. It's going to protect you from that kind of stuff too. And that's very important when it comes to riding safely on the road. Wind noise. This is big. This is a big one. Uh, write in the comments if you had issues uh, you know, with a three quarter helmet or a half helmet and you're just like, I can't, I just hear so much wind. And it's kind of like this high pitched wind. With a full face helmet, you still kind of hear that, but it's massively reduced, massively reduced. But I still recommend wearing earplugs every single time you guys ride. You can still hear the road, you can still hear people talking to you on your Cardo Pack Talk uh, edge or bold, whatever. You can still hear the road, you can still hear honking, you can still hear everything. You just don't hear that very high, high pitch, like, like noise. And that's what damages your hearing, okay? So insulation, very good. So like, I, I, I don't even know what a three-quarter helmet feels like anymore in the wintertime. I wear the, the full face all the time. And my head is feel, it feels, feels warm in the wintertime. Now, there's, there's options to wear like a balaclava underneath. And I highly recommend wearing that too. Make sure it's like super thin. Um, and then it just protects your face for the most part. But then have it a little bit lo uh, long so it goes inside your jacket underneath. Not, it doesn't end up right here. I mean, not a lot of you guys have a beard like me that can protect you from that, but um, have it go inside your jacket. Oh my gosh, huge difference. Full face helmet on top of that. My face is the warmest part of my body outside of this area next to the engine. All right, so uh, weather protection, same thing. You're gonna get rain in your face. Hopefully you don't get really a lot of snow, but harsh sunlight. That's why I like wearing dual sport helmets when I'm riding on the road. And this is the Shoei Hornet X2, but I have a Voss helmet. Same thing with the visor. I do have sunglasses when I wear a clear visor. Uh, that way I can, you know, ride during the day. And then if it turns to nighttime when I'm, you know, out and about, I can just put my sunglasses away, and have a clear visor. But I have this right here, or a clear face shield. I have a visor, though. I can dip down just like it's a hat and uh, block the sun. It's really important. Visibility. Okay, a lot of people say I don't like wearing a full face helmet because it restricts my visibility compared to a three quarter or half helmet or no helmet. Uh, the problem with that is that you're trading some uh, safety for risk and everything like that. Yes, you're going to have lower visibility than you would if you'd worn nothing, but this is why you focus on getting a helmet that provides you a lot of visibility. And that's why I specifically did choose a dual sport helmet. Dual sport helmets have amazing visibility compared to some sport bike uh, centric full face helmets. And that's why I did that. So I picked that because as a wider view, clear vision, uh, the anti fog, this is pretty big right here. So if you can see, I'm going to bring this back up again. There's these little, little markers right there. You see that thing right there? It's also on the other side. That's for a pin lock. So a pin lock is a um, piece of plastic that goes on the inside. It locks into those two things that I was talking or showing you right there. And what it pretty much creates is a double pane window. And so on the inside, in that double pane, there's gonna be some warmer air. It's gonna be able to make it to where it doesn't fog up. Okay, so if you have like a, a shower mirror or anything like that, and you have to fill up the back with warm water so it doesn't fog up, that's the same concept. So it doesn't fog up. And that helps you out. There's also um, like uh, there's chem. I forgot. I, I'm I'm drawing a blank here, but you're able to spray some stuff. But make sure you, you, the stuff that you do spray that you normally would do for your car windows. That's for glass. Get the stuff for plastic because the stuff for glass will mess up your visor. Get this. Get the the spray for for plastic. 
So clear vision, safety assurance right here above all, choosing a full face helmet ensures optimal safety, significantly reducing the risk of severe injuries. That's big because we talked about the smart rider principles, the MTC awareness stages, making sure that you're zoned in, making sure that you go into orange stage, you're actively scanning and, uh, and seeking, recognizing, understanding hazards. If you can't see anything, you're not going to be able to dodge or avoid it. So in conclusion, full face helmets offer a range of benefits that make them essential, blah, 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 blah. You guys can read that. The main thing here is it's going to protect your brain. Okay? You don't want to get a traumatic brain injury that's going to be so high on, this, on the severity scale. You can st you're still going to get probably a traumatic brain injury if you get into a crash, even with a helmet. It's probably going to be a concussion. Hopefully, it's not going to, it's not going to be more than that. A concussion is a traumatic brain injury. So be very aware of that, but it's better than having penetrating trauma going inside your brain and then having your skull fracture uh, go inside and start bleeding out. A lot better than that. So make sure you wear it. It's going to protect your face, so hopefully we can prevent the accident so you can still see, you can still breathe, you can still feel warm. Um, and then if you do get in a crash, full face helmet will help you out. Now this right here, this, this right here is from uh, Unit uh, 2 from the Basic Smart Rider class. Uh, that we focus mainly on helmets, jackets, pants, gloves, and boots. We talk about everything here, so make sure you guys sign up. It's $120 a year right now, and you get a whole bunch of downloads and a whole bunch of stuff. So make sure you guys do that. But with that said, we're going to jump into uh, some crashes. All right, guys?